Um, one of the one of the ingredients that comes up a lot under question. I know we talked about the vegetable glycerin. Um, so there are three there are three types of glycerin: synthetic, vegetable, and animal. Um, again, mm -hmm. if you don't mess with animal products, you're not going to want something with animal glycerin in there. Uh, synthetic uh, glycerin is a basically a synthetic blend of something. It's not natural. Um, vegetable glycerin is is natural. It comes from uh, palm and coconut oils. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's it and it, for us it has many different uses, but it's used throughout a lot of beauty products. Um, one of the things people use it for is mouth ulcers. Um, another thing is um, constipation. You can actually use vegetable glycerin to give it a constipation. Um, okay. if, if your girl or you have, have crusty, um, rough lips, you can actually use, uh, mix it with honey and you can actually get soft lips from using vegetable glycerin and honey and mix that together. So it depends on what the mixture is that you can come up with different things that you want to use it for. Some people use it as a skin toner with, um, with rose water. Uh, so you can use that. Uh, about that is the, the thing uh, best, vegetable glycerin pulls, uh, it's a humunculant, uh, humunculant. I always struck with that humectic. word. Uh, humectic. humectic. Thank you. Yeah, you, know, you, if you. If you watch Full Metal, Hel Full Metal Alchemist, <laughs> you, you'll get why I said mix, mix up the other one. Uh, but anyway, so it actually pulls moisture from the air. So as you apply it to your hair and your face, it'll pull moisture in and help nourish your skin, your um, nourish your beard hair, as well as hydrate your skin at the same time. Um, wow. And so it's, it's, it's kind of a double thing. The other part to that is it helps cut down on split ends and sometimes actually repair damaged hair. Um, mm -hmm. So it it has me for us. It has a few different uses while we put it in there. Um, the bomb has uses sunflower oil that does some of the, something similar, but the because we want something with the with the butter that is um, going to last a little bit longer and actually goes through the hair and, and helps the, um, moisturize the skin at the same time as nourishing your hair. We use the uh, vegetable glycerin instead. Okay. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I like that one you say you put on. Uh, we we should have had that one where you can use it on your lips during this uh, winter. Cause I was at the truck stop, man, and I seen a guy. I seen a guy. His lips, was was white, his lips was white as hell, and we, I was talking to him. You know, I was asking about the load, and he fucked around and licked his lips, and his tongue got stuck on his goddamn lips. <laughs> The uh, shit was not cool, man. I could have saved his life if I'd have had some of that shit in my beard. I'd have grabbed some of it and just and slap slapped it on his lip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and the other the other benefit too is it doesn't it doesn't clog your pores. So a lot of the other products, like as, as it seeps down in there, it clogs pores. Clog pores, clogs indoor hairs and acne because your pores get clogged up and it starts, you know, the the uh, the testosterone and the, with the andro testosterone mm -hmm. gets caught up in there and it kind of builds up those bumps, you know, you end up with those issues. Um, so it helps cut down on those same problems at the same time. That would be big for me because I, I, I have acne-prone skin. I have real oily skin also, so that would be big for me. And, and the, so the butter will actually work for you because of that. So it helps people with, like, the people that have oily skin, real oily skin, is good for that yeah. reason. Um, the other thing is, but if you have like low porous hair, then, you know, it, for, for, especially for women, you know, when they use products with vegetable glycerin in there, um, and the immunity is high, then sometimes they end up with them frizzes. Um, in the yeah. winter time, the downside is depending on where you at, it might kind of dry you out if you, um, if you use something heavy with vegetable glycerin in there. Um, but okay. vegetable glycerin is something that you should not use by a product by itself because, it's 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 real concentrated and it uh, it's real strong if you use it by itself. So that's something that you should you it should always use um, use it as an ingredient to something else. Oh, right. 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 Man, and, and that's like that's part of what gives no. it a bad rap too. Sometimes because if you use it in high concentrations, they'll say it'll clog your pores. Right. But but um, that's only in super high concentration. And also, usually there's something else going on with your skin that kind of you know kind of closes your pores up a little bit, and then your pores will get clogged from the vegetable glycerin. So. Right, if you right. got healthy skin to start with. That's not going to cause you no damage, and I'm yeah. sure the level of vegetable glycerin that you have in a product like this, not you're not using it by itself, is fine. Just like anything else you use, if you overdo it, you know what I mean. Correct, uh, correct, correct. Yeah. So, yeah, because yeah, anytime, anytime I have somebody come to me and they.